Welcome to Antivisible. Uh, today I will talk about use of SSA in uh, drainage analysis. Uh, the example in this case I have used is constructed car park. Uh, as you can see here this driveway leading to the car park and there are currently three spaces so this car park was required to be widened so that the community which use facility uh, for community hall and tennis court they can able to park uh, in a car park so it was required to be widened and there isn't any existing drainage facility where it can drain to so it was decided to construct the open channel at the end of widening so that the water will stay at least minimum for one in ten year ARI so as you can see the plan here hatch area is existing the dotted area represent the widening so entire from north and south was graded in a such a way that the road drops toward the south side and from beginning to the end it will it will, the water will go in a spoon drain all the way to the down the length here is 150 meter this is also spoon drain and and it drains into the channel here open channel uh, the entire car park area is is about 1500 square meter and we constructed for minimum of 64 meter patterns who can park and able to use the car park this was the cross section uh, we used for construction uh, as per that uh, 150 millimeter of sub base and base using class 3 and class 2 aggregate was constructed 2% cross fold is provided and instead of concrete strip we change that into a swell drain all the way 150 meter length which I discussed earlier during the hydraulics we needed to make sure that we provide minimum of 15 meter 0.15 meter of pre board and rainfall even uh, for open drain was 1 in 10 year ARI as you can see here constructed car park barrier b3 curb drains over the water drains b3 curb is graded b3 curb and pavement is graded towards swell drain so that the water drops from uh, a sky drops into the pavement and all the way drains into the swell drain this is looking south side so water from all the way car park drains into the open uh, swell drain and then in, which in turn drains into the into the swell open swell we need to make sure that how much the width of the drain open drain open swell drain we provide so that water can contain at least for one in ten year ARI we use SSA the first step was to build up hydrograph IFD curve which can be easily done by going into the locality and obtaining a storm and sanitary data obtaining a rainfall data from uh, Bureau of Meteorology so as you can see I have built up uh, IFD curve for the area you can able to save that in your folder once you do that the second step is to create a model uh, for this model i have used entire car park area as you can see in sub basin as a green draining into the open swell drain 150 long then it drains into the open channel the junction is been used the depth is equivalent to the swell drain uh, depth which is 50 mil so that we can able to make sure that uh, the routing is been performed once we did analysis uh, and then we obtained the parameter of the channel 
as you can see here is 50 meter long, 1 in 4 cross pole, 1 meter wide channel was constructed which can accommodate that of the water for 1 in 10 year ARI. The grass was installed, drop was installed over it so that it doesn't allow water to be contaminated with the soil and, and after the construction it is being used by the ducks as you can see on the photographs. Let me quickly show you how SSA is been modeled. So, so this is the SSA. Uh, the one in the blue is after my analysis suggests that it is it is overblown. However, this is a sub basin which is a car park. Entire car park is 1500 square meter length of the flow for swell drain uh, uh, for swell drain uh, spoon drain is about 150 meter 2% cross pole slope 2% slope time of concentration minimum I use 5 minute and weighted runoff coefficient is based on a uh, per VS area of asphalt 0.72 using this analysis you can able to analyze the peak flow of 0 0.032 cubic meter per second for 1 in 10 year ARI rainfall of 106 millimeter per uh, per hour and uh, and uh, total runoff is about 7 millimeter and uh, and uh, uh, precipitation is about uh, 9 millimeter so then entire car park drains into the open channel uh, swell drain which is 0.50 millimeter deep 0.6 meter wide you can able to see is little bit of the slope length is 150 meter main roughness is based on a finished concrete and uh, and uh, uh, there is a slightly flooding is there i neglected it because uh, the car, entire car park won't be going into the swell at, at once it will be a different different uh, segment of the flow will be going into the different position so I have neglected this flooding especially for channel open channel we use this parameter for construction 0.5 meter height 1 meter width 1 in 4 cross 4 length 15 meter Manning roughness is being stored grass, so grass coefficient of roughness uh, has been used. And uh, as you can see, the analysis summary is uh, once it is constructed, uh, uh, the, the maximum depth ratio is 0 0.06, velocity is well within 0.65 meter per second. Uh, at last, uh, channel of that parameter was constructed and uh, uh, um, till now it was satisfactory uh, so this is a small case study we use storm and sanitary analysis uh, once again thanks for watching this video and uh, please subscribe our channel if you have not uh, to uh, view the upcoming videos thank you